Nelson Mandela from prison to president. Nelson was one of the leaders in the illegal party ANC. After many years of protesting against apartheid, Nelson was sent to prison. White people looked at him as a threat. Nelson was sentenced to lifetime in prison. He became a symbol of the protests against apartheid, even though he did not talk to a lot of people. Even though he did not participate in any protests. He had done his job. In September 1989, a 53-year-old man with the name Frederick Willem de Klerk, was elected president of South Africa. Although de Klerk was a National Party leader, he had promised and was willing to negotiate with the, then black political party ANC, to solve South Africa's problems. De Klerk released prisoned, black leaders, like Sisulu and others. In December 1989, he had a meeting with Nelson. Two months later, de Klerk announced that the ANC was no longer an illegal group. Not long after he made an even bigger announcement, Nelson Mandela was going to be released from prison after 27 years. On May 10, 1994, Mandela became the first ever black president of South Africa. In this election, black adults were able to vote. This meant millions of new voters. Nelson won easily. This was the beginning of a new start for South Africa. Apartheid was finally over. Nelson Mandela was president for five years. He was not so experienced in running a government. And South Africa's government was more difficult to run than most, but he outlawed discrimination of all kind. Nelson is today a symbol of hope and dreams. His commitment and dedication gives people all over the world motivation to do whatever they want. Today he is a role model to a lot of black people, but also white people.